Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about Windows 10. So Windows 10 is a heavily used operating system as of now. There were so many operating systems of Microsoft that they release over the time. Some of the operating system released by Microsoft over the time, starting off with Windows XP and Windows 7 and so Windows 8, 8.1 and now 10. Those are very famous operating systems among uh, general users. One of the very speci special version that Microsoft released known as 1703 or Creators Edition changed so many features of Microsoft Windows 10 which we had over the other operating systems. Especially one of the very famous uh, feature that we had especially in Windows 7 known as last known good configuration uh, which we use when we messed up with operating system when our operating system corrupted, when our drivers corrupted, just to revert back to some time. So remove some of the drivers or even malware infections. But with Windows 10, we don't get last known good configuration. So especially when it comes to repair your Windows 10 device, or if you want to reset the password, or if you want to bypass the password, what you can do. So in this video, I'm going to take you through some of the features that Windows 10 has and also some of the tools that we can use in order to bypass a login screen of Windows or Windows 10. So before you start, you need to know Windows supports something called UEFI, which is Universal Firmware Extended Interface. So with this interface, Windows provides certain features like secure boot, secure credentials, which means Windows operating system is much more attached to a firmware interface now. So with this UEFI release, uh, some of the traditional tools that we use to reset Windows password start, wouldn't work. So one of the tools that I'm going to show you, Hiran's boot disk, uh, latest version that you can access even UEFI uh, or extended universal firmware interface firmware. So let's see how we can do that. So this is the tool that we are looking at today. So the link I'll be posting in my description. So this is known as Hiran's boot CD, it was there for a long time. It was earlier supporting only uh, BIOS uh, operating system, BIOS support hardware or the firmware, but now it supports even uh, UEFI. So if you download this one, so you can go here and download the tool and it comes with bundle of heaps of tools within uh, Hiran's boot CD. And if you, you, uh, you see the, this, it's boot CD, pre-boot environment and it supports um, x64 architecture as well and if you go there you can download usb booting where you can convert hiram's boot, boot cd iso to a, a flash drive or boot flash drive so you can create it and you can download it here using this link you can download this uh, converter which it can convert iso to your usb drive and then when it comes to burning to cd or dvd so you can use burning uh, application. Uh, if you go in there, you can find uh, Windows disk image burner. So once you do that, you can uh, start your system or Windows 10 and even it supports server versions as well uh, using this DVD. So if, you, if I show you uh, the, uh, this, the tools, this is the one that I'm gonna use, uh, Hiran's boot CD, x64 version, and I use so uh, to USB, if you run this tool, you can convert uh, ISO file or you can create your own USB stick with Hiran's boot CD where you can boot up your system uh, using USB. So let's open up this tool. So uh, once this boots up, uh, you can uh, uh, you know enter your boot CD location and you can uh, insert your USB stick and you can start processing. It will make, it will transfer ISO uh, to USB stick. Using CD burner XP, you can convert your ISO using this option, burn ISO image, and then you can uh, convert it to uh, DVD drive. So you can select Hiran's boot CD ISO here, and then you can uh, burn your disk. So you can use any, 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 any method uh, to boot up. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to use uh, VMware workstation and I'm going to uh, you know boot my this one uh, using Hiran's boot CD what I'm going to do is edit virtual machine settings here and it will open up my settings and then I'm going to change uh, CD DVD 
option here just click on this one and uh, there will be pop-up window where I'm going to specify Hiran's boot CD uh, location uh, like this ISO image and press OK now I need to do a very special thing I'm going to click here and then I will need to do power on uh, to firmware so once you do that it will switch it on and then it will boot using Hiran's boot CD so here we are it started and it will take us to a firmware screen of this uh, virtual machine so if this demonstrate or oh, this uh, simulates a real firmware screen where we need to change the boot sequence uh, to be boot bootable using Hiram's boot CD uh, on uh, this one so let's go in there in this here what I did was I changed the boot sequence to be able to boot this system uh, using a boot DVD and then I'm gonna save it and start it so when I change the uh, boot order and exit now it will boot up uh, using Hiran's boot DVD let's see now it's there press enter now it will start using Hiran's boot CD let's see what we can do when we access uh, to Hiran's boot CD I booted my CD my system using Hiran's boot CD so there are plenty of stuff that you can do uh, first let's go and have a look at our uh, command line and then this supports even Wi-Fi and uh, IP network so let's do IP config sorry so we'll see Windows IP configuration related information and also if you want to uh, you can create uh, users and you can make users as an administrators so you can do a lot of stuff there so before is you know without spending more time until this boots up if you go in there click on here it's pretty much similar to a uh, windows 10 system and if you go into a uh, pen network you would see there are network configuration that you can do even it supports a wi-fi uh, uh, net internet network and then until this loads up if i go into all programs it would have the number of programs that you might need in order to specially recover your windows 10 systems so you can use boot uh, lce or easy bcd to access your bcd information boot sector information and computer management and if you have anything to do with drivers you can remove drivers if there is any uh, unfunctional uh, drivers and then there are plenty of hard disk tools you can do even data recovery there there are a number of features comes with hard disk tools but now we are interested in uh, security if you go into security you can find under passwords there are plenty of tools if you go into uh, layers of password security password so you can open up this tool and you can reset password of windows 10 system but the system that i'm using today is not a windows 10 system so i will not be able to re reset password of this system so it says uh, this recover home edition which is free one only supports windows 7 vista xp and 2000 workstation it doesn't support any server version so i can't use this one but if you go into the next option you would see all programs uh, security and then passwords and NT password edit would support almost any system and if you notice uh, it already access my SAM file which is security account manager of Windows 10 device if I click on open it would show you all the accounts that I have in my system so what I want to do is just select any account that you want to change the password just click on change and then I can put whatever the password I want to put there you can click OK and then save changes it will be written on the SAM file where once the system is rebooted you can use the password that you resetted so in that way you can reset password if you have a local or local access or physical access there and there are a number of Windows recovery tools that will be useful in order to recover your Windows system and also there are plenty of system tools comes with this uh, in order to uh, troubleshoot rectify and fix your windows 10 issues so i just focus on windows 10 today 
but there are plenty of other operating system which are windows ones including server operating systems uh, you can use this tool and uh, troubleshoot recover and fix it even you can re uh, reset windows uh, administrator password using this small utility and if you're looking at previous operating systems which are coming with bios uh, you can use previous versions of Hiran's boot CD that you can access using the same site. Uh, there is an option here uh, under uh, known as uh, old versions of Hiran's. So you can download specific version and even Hiran's 15.2 uh, DVD CD comes with a tool called Conboot which supports even bypassing Windows login screen which you don't need to reset the password but if you can if you want you can bypass linux or even mac operating system login screen uh, and you can access the data but if you need physical access so i hope this one is uh, useful and informative and uh, hope you enjoy the video thank you very much for viewing hope to see you with my next video thank you